Joining us today is Wanda Cole Nicholson, advanced sommelier, to help us with some cozy couple vibes this Valentine's season. Wanda, thanks for being here with us today. Thank you so much for having me, and Absolutely. happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. You look amazing <laughs> in your red, and Thank we you. are truly winding down today. Absolutely. I'm trying to celebrate the love. You know? I know. Put a little love in your heart. Okay, sorry. I had to do that. <laughs> All right, so we are diving into wines that warm you up. Yes. Are there certain wines that can give you those warm, ooey, gooey feelings inside? Of course. So Valentine's Day traditionally was about couples, but you know, with a change in the definition, it's all about a celebration of love. And you want to do that with love, food, and libations. And that's mm. what I have here. So Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day has turned into more of like a party, more of like a festivity. So I brought some wines that are really, really good with food that are going to be enjoyed for Valentine's and Galentine's Day. Love it. I roll? love a good Galentine's and I love Valentine's Day. So it's the best of both worlds. Absolutely. Okay, so where are we starting? We're going to start right here with the Domaine Bosque. Mm. So this is a sparkling brut rosé, a delicious, nice, festive way to start out your Galentine's Day. It goes great with just about everything, mm. particularly with good conversation. Uh, Mendoza Argentina, it is a blend of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Very, very delicious. It brut, light so it and is airy. Light. It is light and airy. Mm. So our second one is the 2020 Cross Barn Pinot Noir from Sonoma Coast, Paul Hobbs. And this is a beautiful wine. It is pretty crowd pleaser and easy going with some tasting notes of some pomegranate, some Bing cherry, some orange peel and Coca-Cola. Okay. Delicious, nice medium bodied wine. Great wine to drink throughout your Galentine's or Valentine's Day celebration. I paired that one with strawberry yogurt covered pretzels. I see how these two could go together. This one doesn't smell like it's just too much or too overpowering. Really, really easy going. So that's the that's the main focus on this wine. I it's like a really, really pretty pretzels. crowd pleasing and easy going. Nice. Next one, we have the Bella Union, and that is that translates to Beautiful Union by Farniente, the 2019 from Napa Valley. This wine is beautiful, it's dense, and it's rich. It's got some tannin, it's got some oak aging, and some tasting notes of some cassis, some mm -hmm. red plum, a little bit of cedar, and some blackberry. So that one's going to be a little bit more dense and a little bit more rich. And you can definitely smell it. <laughs> Absolutely, and it's made to go with the meat, with Ooh. the um, uncured pepperoni that I have here for you. Talk about a perfect pairing. Perfect pairing. Oh, I love it. Speaking Speaking of perfect pairings, next we have the Montesillo Rioja Vintage 2014, the Reserva, which is a Tempranillo from Spain. Very, very delicious wine. This one is smooth, mature, and complex. That one has some tasting notes of some baked cherry with some dried mayoram, some toasted coconut and dill. That wine is very, very elegant and very complex and goes perfectly with the smoked cheddar. I see also why this would go well with meat and cheese. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely getting some oak notes here. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, I brought a sweet treat here for you. I have the Ramos Pintu Port. Ramos Vintage, Pintu Port. Vintage 2000. So in order to be port, you actually have to come from the region of port in Portugal. It is made with some indigenous grapes, including Tariga Nacional, Tariga Franca, and Tinta Barroca. Very, very delicious wine. This is sweet and dense. Some tasting notes of some Christmas cake, some plum, some chocolate, and some black cherry. Oh, that smells amazing. Now I have a question for you. Why is the port in this small glass. I'm glad that you asked. So port has a lot of alcohol and a lot of sugar during the fermentation process. The fermentation is stopped to keep a lot of sugar in there. They stop the fermentation process with some brandy. Once you put it in, you can't take it out. So you're left with a wine that is very, very delicious and very bold and very boozy. So a yes. little bit goes a long way. <laughs> very boozy. Great with chocolate. With yes, we love some Kisses to go with this delectable port. We actually have some video of where this port comes from in Portugal. I mean, look at those views. <laughs> Can we go to Portugal together? We absolutely like we should can. make a, a trip to Rioja. There you are. That is, I was actually at Ramos Pinto. I was at their estate that um, back in 2014. Amazing. Yep, yep. And the vineyards were planted along those terrace hills. How cool is it that there. you get to travel really all across the globe, tasting wines, experiencing wines, and then you get to come back to shows like mine. And share it with, and share with, and the, share the, world. with the world. <laughs> It's very cool, I have to say. Like, I cannot quantify exactly how cool it is. Nice. Well, that is amazing. I cannot wait to put all of these wines to the test. Maybe even try this port for Galentine's Day. Where can people go if they're interested in learning more about any tasting parties that you do? Or 
classes, workshops, anything of that nature. So you can follow me on Instagram at Vendiva7 or my website is www.vimbev.net. Follow me for tastings, for pairing information, events that are coming up with the spring and the summer. We've got some really fun things planned. Nice. Well, she Stay is tuned. an amazing resource for you, St. Louis. Wanda Cole Nicholson, she is an advanced sommelier and she has a wealth of knowledge and information. So book her for parties, join in on some workshops and just show her some love on all social media platforms. Thanks for winding down with us. Thank you. Cheers. Happy Valentine's. I picked Valentine's. up this, this I feel like this is dangerous. It is. <laughs> it is. A little bit goes a long way. That's why you only have a little bit in your way. glass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to keep smelling until we get to commercial break. Wanda, thank you so much again. Take thank Lewis. you. Pleasure's mine.